Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Fisherman Tech Orders, and today is Thursday, December 22nd. Take a stroll up here, Mid Island Surf, Long Beach Island, the town of Ship Bottom, right up the street from the tackle shop here. Check in, give it a little updated fish report. Let you guys kind of see the scene here on this Thursday afternoon. It's about 1.30, maybe 2 o'clock here. Uh, we got some clean water, some white water. Yesterday was a beautiful day. I uh, heard some fish actually I caught. Uh, it's definitely late in the season. Water's getting cold. There's still a couple of little schoolies around. I uh, heard a couple of reports from the boats. Uh, catching a couple of striped bass in the troll. Uh, I actually took a stroll, uh, actually I should say a cruise, down to one of the reef sites yesterday. Did a little tog fishing, caught some tog. Only got about two hour session with friends before we had to go to work. We got some good fun fishing. Uh, definitely wasn't great, but uh, some other friends fishing close by did really well. Uh, tog fishing's definitely been uh, pretty good. For the most part of the season, I think with the, uh, the awesome striped bass fishing we had early in the season, that there was less anglers togging. Uh, maybe that's helped out. And now that uh, the striped bass fishing is somewhat slowing down on the decline there, that uh, people are jumping into the tog scene or getting into some good fun fishing. We're fishing white crabs, green crabs at the local wrecks and reefs. Um, you can fish rigs on the rougher days, fish jigs uh, if it's nicer out. But as far as striped bass here on the beach, definitely some schoolies around. Store staff for Paul has gotten into some action. I uh, also heard some other reports from other anglers on LBI. Some peanut bunkers still around. Uh, Paul actually had some peanuts on the surf yesterday. Um, when I was taking the cruise, I had about 40, I think it was 44, 45 degree water, if I remember correctly. Um, today in the bay by the BI buoy, had 36, 37 degrees, which was, I was kind of shocked it was that cold, but there's some skim ice in the lagoons. Um, it's definitely getting chilly. We had some cold nights. Um, looks like we're having another little cold snap here I mean, right now. It's pretty, I'd say somewhat mild for, it's for late December. Uh, we got a big blow coming. It's uh, cranking more, say, from the back of me. I'm walking to the south. It's more coming out of the northeast-ish area. It's going to be swimming more easterly. And then eventually, suddenly, a big, big south blow coming this weekend. Uh, well, tomorrow, Friday, and then Saturday. Um, and then it looks like things are going to clear out there for Christmas. You might have a couple days of really, really cold temps. But lighter winds and uh, hopefully we get into some little more milder conditions here as we enter the new year um i have good uh good expectations here the next couple days next couple weeks when the weather allows to get out for tog fishing tog should be prime time fishing right now if you want to get on that action definitely need to jump in the boat and head off uh fishing in the barney inlet that that kind of story uh is somewhat come to a close uh that ship has sailed but uh definitely good fishing in the local wrecks and reef sites for sure right into the new years and beyond uh, we have baits in stock right now if you want some live green crabs, live white crabs. Uh, plenty of tackle on that front. If you're looking for any last minute holiday shopping gifts, stop by Fisherman's Headquarters. Um, we are open every single day, and we'll be open every single day all winter long. Uh, if you're looking to get your real service, looking for some information, some help, maybe you had some, uh, some issues this year you want to try to get around the curve on, uh, maybe you need some advice on a different technique or topic, uh, you just want to come by and talk fish and stop by. Love to help you out and get geared up. Um, this is probably my last report of the 2022 year. Um, hopefully you got some value from the reports that I've shared throughout the year. Uh, I'll try to keep it going next year as well. I'm definitely gonna do my best to throw a couple reports up in the off season. Uh, might not be strolling on the beach like this because it's gonna start getting pretty cold and I uh, don't wanna really freeze up too much. But I wanted to get out here even though it's raining right now and share a quick little report that say that uh, there was some fish on the beach. Uh, I know Joe Hanley uh, mentioned a little bit of action. I know he, he saw some bait. Uh, like I mentioned, Paul from the shop, he um, gave us a good little report. had some fish. Uh, nothing epic right now, nothing epic going down, but uh, def definitely some striped bass still around. More of the smaller schoolies, say resident-sized fish, really not the migrating bigger class of fish that we'd all wished were cracking on the beaches. But uh, that's just kind of how the cookie crumbles. Uh, I would say the surf fishing this fall in, in say, hindsight is Definitely a little on the slower side than, uh, than we all like to see for this area, for LBI. Uh, we definitely had some good days here and there, but it definitely was on the, uh, say, average to poor side, in my opinion. Definitely wasn't great. Um, but the boat fishing, say, Barnegan Land on the north, uh, northern waters there was phenomenal. So we'll kind of chalk it up to, um, to say, a pretty, pretty good fall fishing season if you, if you fish the right areas. Uh, I, honestly, if you put enough time in you, and you really – did some travel and, and got dialed in and, and stayed on the bite. Uh, you probably had a really epic season, depending on um, you know how you approached it. So that's, I'm sure everybody has their own little opinions. But if you want to drop a comment below and, and share your own opinion, how you thought the fall went, how you did, 
uh, maybe some maybe mistakes that you made or you want to try better, maybe a New Year's resolution about what you can try to change in your fishing approach. Uh, that'd be kind of interesting to see some comments on that. Um, I know something I want to do is fish more. I mean, I try to fish as much as possible and I try to stay on the different trends and different topics to kind of pop up and uh, follow those trends throughout the season as things come and go and as moon phases come and go and bait comes and goes and fish kind of bigger, smaller, move in different areas, things like that. Uh, the more time you spend on the water, more things you pick up. So it's definitely uh, something that, that my new, new Year's resolution is trying to stay on top of the fishing even more than I have in the past. Uh, but it's always super hard. Time's, time's uh, hard to come by. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody uh, following along and, um, and watching the ports. Like I said, I really hope they bring value to you um, now and throughout the entire season. I uh, hope they brought value to you this past season. If you just kind of started following along, great. Hopefully you're subscribed. If not, please subscribe. Um, if there's something specific that, that you want to hear about, uh, that you want help with, and you don't, you're not local, you can't stop by the shop, drop a comment, send a message. I'd love to help you out and uh, see if I can share my information with you, whether it's now or later. Uh, once again, it's Gregor Fisherman's headquarters here in Ship Autumn, where it's uh, in Long Beach Island in New Jersey. Have a great day and Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. Have a great New Year.